Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. Today we shall discuss exercise 8.1. Okay, so the theorems of this chapter and the concepts and how to apply the theorem I have explained you in the introduction video, isn't it? So now we are going to apply the theorems which we have learned here and don't worry, I'll make the problems very simple for you. Okay, so let's start with question number one. In a triangle PQR, okay, so this is triangle P, Q, R in this triangle, P, S by S, Q is equals to P, T by T, R. Okay, that means this, this S, T, this line S, T, okay, is dividing P, S, P, Q and P, R in the same ratio. Just see here, these are the two sides, P, Q and P, R. See, P, S by S, Q is equals to P, T by T, R. Do you remember converse of uh, B, P, T, basic proportionality theorem, converse of it? So, this line ST is dividing the two sides of the triangle PS in the ratio, in the equal ratio. So, PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. Okay. So, did, did you understand this point? This is the first given thing, given condition. PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. And also it is given that TSP, angle TSP, that means this angle T. Yes, P is equals to angle P R Q. P R Q. Okay, so this angle. These two angles are equal. Okay, this these are the given conditions. So what you have to prove? You have to prove that. To prove triangle P Q R is isosceles triangle. How will you prove that this is an isosceles triangle? So what is the property of isosceles triangle? Whenever you see what you have to do immediately you should uh, you should identify the property in a isosceles triangle okay when do you say that a triangle is isosceles two sides are equal okay two sides has to be equal and two angles are equal okay which two angles suppose this is triangle a b c if a b is equals to b c okay a b is equals to b c then you can say that angle B is equal to angle C, isn't it? Yes, so two sides are equal and two angles are equal. So and if you can prove that these two angles are equal, if the two sides are equal, if you can prove that these angles are equal, then you can say that ABC is an isosceles triangle. Clear with this point? Yes, so that is what we are going to prove now. Now just see, let's go on to the proof. So I, I just also gave you a clue that this is a converse of BPT. See here, it's given that PS, it's given that PS by SQ is equals to PT by TR. Okay, when a line is dividing the other two sides in the same ratio, then what can you say? Then ST is parallel to QR. How am I saying this? Using converse of BPT. Clear with this point? Okay. So, using converse of BPT, we can say that if a line is dividing two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line is parallel to the third side. The third side here is QR. Okay, so ST is parallel to QR. Now, when two lines are parallel, just see here, this is, this is ST, this is QR. When the two lines are parallel, okay, what, suppose this is a transversal. What about these two angles? These two angles are equal. How? They are nothing but corresponding angles. One angle is exterior. This is exterior. This is interior angle and both the angles are on the same side of the transversal. So, these two angles are corresponding. So, we can say therefore angle PST is equals to angle. This angle PST or TSP. You can write it in any way. Is equals to angle PQR. Why? Because since ST is parallel to QR. They are corresponding angles. Okay, they are corresponding angles. Now, what you should prove since they are corresponding angles. So, this is equation. This is given equation 1. This I am taking as equation 2. Just see a TSP, PST. TSP is nothing but this angle. PST is also this angle. Okay, so I can say therefore... From 1 and 2, what can I say? Angle TSP is equals to angle PRQ is equals to angle PQR. Isn't it? 
or I can say these two angles PRQ is equals to angle PQR okay PRQ PRQ is nothing but this angle is equals to PQR is this angle now these two angles in a triangle are equal this angle and this angle are equal so what about the triangle see here when angle B equal to angle C so the triangle therefore triangle PQR is isosceles if two angles are equal then the triangle is a isosceles triangle clear with this point yes so always you should see from what you have to do you have to see the given condition okay so you will be using the given condition you will be using the properties okay so here you, you have seen that this these two sides are in the same ratio so immediately you should remember of corners of BPT so these two lines are parallel when the lines are parallel you know that these are corresponding angles Firstly, what you have to prove, you have to prove that it is an isosceles triangle. For isosceles triangle, two angles has to be equal. So, if I, if I can prove these two angles are equal, then I can say that PQR is isosceles triangle. So, these are the steps you follow. Clear? Practice the problem one more time. Okay? So, question number two. In the given figure, LM is parallel to BC. Okay? So, given LM is parallel to BC, LN is parallel to CD. This LM is parallel to BC and LN is parallel to CD. Okay. So, you have to prove what you have to prove. Prove that AM by AB. AM by AB is equals to AN by ND. So, AM by AB is equals to AN by ND. So, here whenever a figure is given to you, let us try to simplify the figure. Okay. Here it is given to you. LM is parallel to. See here beta. LM this is parallel to BC so here these two are parallel lines so this is one triangle can you see ABC is one triangle okay in triangle ABC these two lines are parallel okay similar to this question see in this triangle these two lines are parallel isn't it so similarly here in triangle ABC these two lines are parallel in triangle ACD this triangle lower triangle LN is parallel to CD Okay, so I am breaking the figure into two triangles. Okay, so in triangle ABC, suppose this is triangle ABC. So BC, for BC you have a line LM is parallel to BC. Okay, LM is parallel to BC. So using, using BPT, what can you say? Using BPT you can say if if LM is parallel to BC, if a line is parallel to the third side, then the line divides the other two sides in the same ratio, isn't it? So, AL by LB, same ratio means AL by LB is equals to AM by MC. Okay, again, okay, again, using BPT, in triangle, now this is in triangle, a, B, C I have taken. Now let us take in triangle this down triangle A, C, D. So if I am taking this triangle A, C, D. A, C, D. So this for this C, D you have a line L and parallel. Okay. For C, D you have L and parallel. So it divides it in the ratio L and by L, C, A and by N, D. Isn't it using B, P, T. So A, L by L, C and A, N by N, D. Now see here, see here, so you got AL by LB, here, here, one second, just see the triangle, so ABC is a triangle and AB, this is BC, for BC you have LM parallel, okay, for BC you have LM parallel, so see here the condition you got AL by LB is equals to AM by MC, okay, now, now, here again you got AL by LC, is equals to a n by c d sorry a n by n d c here a m by m b is equals to a l by l c here we wrote a mistake here you see l and c are in the same place see here beta see here l and c are in the same line okay a l c are in one line a m b are on another line okay a l C is on one line, AM, B is on another line. Okay, so this is how you can understand. AL, C is on one line, AM, B is on the other line. Okay, so now see what is the ratio you get. 
everything is correct only the thing is we, we wrote it in the different line okay so see here the ratio is nothing but al by lc is equals to a m by m b so where was the mistake i interchange b and c here a l c are on one line a m b are on the other line see a l c is on one line clear so now from these two equations what can you say from equation 1 and 2, I can say AL by LC. This AL by LC is equals to AM by MB and, and AN by MD. So, directly I can equate these two. See here, AL by LC is equals to this. AL by LC is equals to this, which means these two are equal to each other, isn't it? So, I am writing it directly. So, therefore, AM by MB is equals to AN by MD. Clear? So, this is what you have to prove. Hence, proof. Okay? So, let's move on to the next question. C. In the given figure, DE is parallel to AC. DE. See, this is DE is parallel to AC. So, if I take this triangle ABC, so we are split, splitting the triangles. So this is a similar question. So, DE. This DE is parallel to AC. Okay? So, these two are parallel. When these two are parallel, okay, in triangle ABC using BPT, what can I say? AD by DB, okay, I can say AD by DB or I can say BD by AB, anything you can take, okay. If you are starting with this, BD by AD is equal to, again, you, you have to start from, if you are starting from B here, you have to start from B here also, so BE by E. See, if you are starting from here, AD by DB, then you, sh you should write CE by B. Clear beta. So, there is no rule. Only thing is, the order should be same. If you are starting from one point, you should proceed in the other, other, other side also with the same point. Clear? So, this is equation 1. Now, let us see. DF is parallel to, DF is parallel to A. This is the second condition. So, in triangle C. DF is here. DF is here. It is parallel to AE. C. So, you have this triangle. This is AE. You have a line DF. This is DF. So, DF is parallel to AE. Okay. These two are parallel. So, the triangle is AB. Did you understand how did I break the triangle? C. DF is here. AE is here. So, which is the triangle you can get? This is the triangle. Got it? So, here you see. Here you see, D is here, A is here. So, the complete triangle you will get in the first case. Okay. So, let's write it here. So, in triangle ABE, using BPT, what can I say? I can say, if I am starting from point B again. So, BD by AD is equals to BF by EF. Okay. This is equation 2. So, from equation 1 and 2, what can you say? See. BD by AD is equal to BE by AC. BD by AD is the same BD by AD is equal to BF by e, EF. Isn't it? So, I can equate these two. So, BE by EC is equal to BF by EF. This is what you have to do. Clear with this point? Shall we move on to the next question? See, you have to prove this. Isn't it? You have to prove it. Okay? Chal. Next question. Prove that a line drawn from the midpoint of one side of a triangle is parallel to the other side bisects the third side. And here, our uh, fifth question is also a similar question. So, I'll take these questions in the next class. Okay. So, these are similar questions. One, two, three are similar. Do practice them once again and I'll meet you in the next class. Thank you.